hello to all today we are going to study about the turner syndrome first of all the turner syndrome was described by a scientist whose name was henry h turner in the year 1938 first of all you must know that whether the turner syndrome is a autosomal disorder or it is a chromosomal disorder so you must know that it is a sex chromosome disorder okay it is a sex chromosomal disorder as we know very well there are two type of the sex chromosome xx in the case of the female and xy in the case of the male now what happens in the people who are actually suffering from the turner syndrome basically first of all you must know that turner syndrome is actually found in the case of the females phenotypically these individuals are females means the turner syndrome occur in the case of the female now if we talk about a normal female if we talk about a normal female the normal female is having the chromosomal formula 44a plus xx is equal to 46 means 44 are the autosomes we know very well 22 pairs of autosomes are there 22 pairs of the autosomes can be written as 44a means 44 autosomes and this is 45th chromosome and this is the 46th chromosome means a female is having 44a plus xx that is 46th chromosome now what happens in a female now she is a normal female now what happens in a female who is actually suffering from the turner syndrome so now what happens in the turner syndrome the genetic constitution instead of the 44a plus xx here the genetic constitution becomes 44a plus x0 right 44a plus x0 means that comes out to be 45 this is the chromosomal formula of a female suffering from the turner syndrome 44a plus x0 is equal to 45 means the chromosome number here instead of the 46 the number is 2n is equal to 45 what does this chromosomal formula suggest this chromosomal formula suggest that in the female one x chromosome is missing one x chromosome is missing that's why we use the term x0 means one x chromosome is missing okay now what are the chief characteristics of a female who is actually suffering from the turner syndrome so she has many characteristic the very first characteristic the prominent characteristic is the rudimentary ovaries they have rudimentary ovaries now what do you mean by rudimentary the word rudimentary suggest that their ovaries are ill developed they are not so much developed not only the ovaries their oviducts their uterus and all the female genital organs are not so much developed okay and because they are having the less developed gonads okay less developed ovaries that's why they are showing sterility sterility means they are infertile they are not having the power of fertilization and they are sterile now they are also having short stature means a female who is suffering from the turner syndrome is having short height always we can see that the height is below 5 feet it may be around 4 and a half feet okay so short stature less than 5 feet height now webbing of the skin now this is very important feature of a female suffering from the turner syndrome in many books it is written that webbing of the skin but it is not explained there now let us know that what is webbing of the skin now webbing of the skin in the neck region say for this is the neck region okay this is the neck region this is the neck region and this is the shoulder region now what do you mean by webbing of the skin webbing of the skin means what it is a congenital skin fold it is a congenital means it starts from the neck region and it is actually present up till the shoulder region up till the shoulder region okay it is a congenital skin fold congenital means what since birth okay it is a congenital skin fold this is the skin fold which is actually starting from the neck and it is spreaded up to the shoulder region so we can say what is mean by the webbing of the skin it is a congenital skin fold that runs along the sides of the neck that runs along the side of the neck say for this is the neck so a skin fold will run up till the shoulder that runs along the sides of the neck down to the shoulder so it runs uh, from here and it comes 
up till the shoulders so this is called as the webbing of skin now the chest is broad the chest region is little bit broad in comparison to a female in comparison to a normal female the chest is broad and it is shield like it is little bit shield like broad with widely placed nipples means the nipples are not near the chest is broad and nipples are placed a little bit wider okay like we know that they are having ill developed ovaries similarly they have under developed uterus their uterus is not so much developed it is ill developed and also they do not ovulate means they do not produce ovum why because they lack menstruation means we know very well that during the menstruation a normal female produces ovum but they are not menstruating they are not uh, showing the menstruation and that's why they are not able to show the process of the ovulation not only this some more abnormalities are there in such a female that they are having hearing impairment right and they have also some cardiovascular abnormalities means the abnormalities related to the heart and all so they have cardiovascular abnormalities and they have also under developed breast so these are the chief characteristics of a female suffering from the turner's syndrome not only this you must also know about the hormone levels so a female suffering from the turner syndrome have high fsh level they have high fsh level we know very well what is fsh follicle stimulating hormone so they have high fsh level but in them the estrogen secretion is insufficient you must note here that the estrogen secretion is insufficient as we know very well that estrogen hormone is very important for many things in the case of the female it is important for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics it is also important for the menstrual cycle but when the estrogen secretion is insufficient it will have a impact on the female which we can see here by these characteristics not only this you must also know that a question is asked number of bar body number of bar body bar body in turner syndrome female in turner syndrome in turner syndrome female right if this question is asked, how we will answer it we know very well what is bar body bar body means total number of x chromosome minus 1 bar body means bar body is equal to you must know that bar body is equal to nx minus 1 what is nx minus 1 nx is total number of x chromosome minus 1 gives you the bar body now what is bar body out of the 2x chromosome in a normal female out of the 2x chromosome in a normal female one x chromosome is heterochromatic darkly colored and another one is light color okay so in a normal female the number of bar body is always equal to 1 why because the female normal female is having 2x chromosome so bar body is equal to total number of x chromosome minus 1 so 2x are there so 2 minus 1 1 so here in the case of a normal female the bar body will be always equal to 1 but especially the question is asked in the examination that what about a female who is actually suffering from the the turner syndrome what is the number of the bar body in a female who is suffering from the turner syndrome so the answer will be what that is she will be not having any bar body means in such a female in such a female the bar body is absent no bar body why because in such a female one x chromosome is missing so the total number of x chromosome is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to what 0 so bar body is absent we can say that they are not having the bar bodies so dear student this was all about the turner syndrome which is important for uh, all the competitive exams keep watching my videos thanks a lot